Hello everybody and we are hitting that time of year again where it's time for a brand new Planet Zoo download pack and this time we're getting an animal pack. Now if you've not seen the trailer that's playing in the background there, uh, I'll link it below. Essentially we're looking at Eurasia this time around and I, even despite everybody's uh, fallback on it, could not be happier with the animals that are coming in this pack. Now today's video is not to um, recap the announcement, much like all the other videos around on YouTube at the moment. Unfortunately, I am not yet big enough to be on the list of people that will get early access to this pack. However, I wanted to get something set up ready for it. So uh, this video and the next two more that will be coming out tomorrow and the day after are basically just a quick, very quick video just to show you how I plan out a map ahead of a release like this so that it's ready for us to make content with but also so that we can enjoy the new animations the new uh, animals the new scenery everything that comes with the pack so what you can see in the background here is essentially i have set out what i believe to be as close enough to the correct habitat sizes for the animals that are coming with the pack and then i've marked out using the sand lines there where i'd like the paths to go and now we're going to start off sculpting now I always start off with making a new map of getting the water sorted uh, quite early on as you tend to find once the water's down you don't really want to move it. So what we're doing here is using the guides that I've already marked out on the map. I'm just going around and dropping that level down. Um, I have a fair idea how I want this to turn out. This isn't going to be a full blown zoo, it's going to be more like a wildlife park uh, just to showcase the new animals. Um, but part of that is because, as you've probably heard in my other videos, come the new year we're going to be starting Wildlands, which is a British zoo, and quite a few of the animals in this are brilliant. Um, I mean, up until they announced the pack, I had uh, plans of using the anniversary animal, the collared peccary, as a substitute for a wild boar, but now we've got it, which is brilliant. Um, and obviously the swan, oh my god, the swan, finally, something a little bit more general. A bit like the deer, something you can just pop down and have as background animals. And that's what we really need in Planet Zoo. We have a lot of showcase animals. And even in this pack, there's quite a few exciting showcase animals like the sloth bear and the wolverine. Um, but the swan alone is going to be brilliant for so many different zoos. Now, uh, as you can see, as we build up the rivers here, I'm blocking each section off with a glass barrier. And that's just so that if I do need to remove the water, um, it's only really going to affect small portions and I, I tend to find this saves me a lot of time later on and when I don't do it I regret not doing it. Now moving on from the water we're going to jump over onto terraforming and we're, the idea for this sort of area is it's going to be a bit like a, a national park, a country park that's where they take over some sort of small area um, and run it like a small zoo uh, just so that the animals will be sort of kept within a certain area for their safety and also for conservation efforts. Uh, so we're going to have a small sort of area down the bottom where we were just sculpting that will uh, deal with the forest and the woodland animals and then as you come further up we're going to hit this sort of rocky area uh, where the more I guess sparse vegetation and the animals that, that work best in those areas will be. Now I'm using the sculpted map here, so it's not necessarily anything that I've made a height map for or, or sort of built up, it's literally just the sculpted map. That's given us some textures already, but I want to get a good base layer of textures down. So what I'm doing is I've used sand as a base and then exploiting the texture system a little bit by using a 10% brush and going over the top of that sand will give you different shades of the base ground materials. If you go slow and you build it up layer by layer, as you can see here, it then starts to merge. And realistically, you can layer these as many times as you like. So what you will see towards the end is that I do go over pretty much everything with the short grass brush and just add a little bit of green, just a little bit of moss, a bit like we're doing here, just to break up those textures so they don't all look too uh, similar. Now, as we're doing that, I do want to just sort of get feedback. I've seen quite a lot of mixed reactions we could say to the download content pack a lot of people hoping for fish hoping for birds uh, I'm, I'm, my take i'm going to be honest i don't think we'll ever see aquatic fully aquatic animals in planet zoo um, and i sh will struggle to see if we would ever get a large amount of energy put into birds in planet zoo um, i think a lot of that or at least one if not both of them would be 
moved across to a potential Planet Zoo 2 in the future, but I also would not be shocked, given the popularity uh, of previous games, of them potentially bringing out a Planet Aquarium as a separate game. Obviously, if you've seen the news from the past couple of weeks, you'll know that Frontier have gone back into making more management sims, and I think that could probably end up being one of them. Now, as we come to an end here with the textures, uh, I'm gonna jump over to some cinematics from the Moy Bay. If you've not seen that, check the link up above here. Um, I didn't have any animals to, to hear me out on the way out here, so I thought I'd pop them in. Tune in tomorrow for the planting and the rock work video. And we're only two days off that download content launch, so uh, keep tuned for that. If you enjoyed the video today, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow with part two of our build along. Mm -hmm.